Okay, here we're going to put um, two topics together. So one, graphing the line, and then two, qualities. So we still have to remember some of the key components, like if there is no bar in the inequality, then it is a dotted line. If there is a bar on the inequality, then it's a solid line. We also need to know which area to shade, okay? So let's start off with this one. Here, my y-intercept is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And my slope is like a hidden 1, which can be written as 1 over 1. So I'm going to go up one unit and to the right one unit to get my next point. Which means my graph looks something along these lines. So this is my graph. Now, I drew a solid line because I was using my ruler, but this does not have an equal bar in it. So technically, this should not have been a solid line, and if I were graphing the problem in Alex, I would make sure that I select the dotted line to plot this line. But it should be a dotted line, because there is no equal bar. Okay. Then we need to shade. Now here it says the y values are greater than this line. These y values are higher or greater than the line, which means I should be shading this side of the line. Now let's try the second one. So here my y-intercept is a negative 1. And my slope is positive 3 over 1, which means I'm going to be going up 3 units and over to the right 1 unit. So up 1, 2, 3 units and over to the right 1 unit. And because this does have an equal bar, I will be drawing a solid line. And then now I want to shade the y values are greater than this line. These y values are above the line, which means these y values are greater than the line. So I will be shading this side of the graph. There's only two sides. This is the line. This is one side of that line. This is the other side of that line. So once you figure out which region has the correct y values, you shade that whole side of the graph. So here we've got another one, y value of 3, so I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, and then I already have a fraction here, so I'm going to go up 1 and over to the right 2, so up 1 and then to the right 2. Now this does not have an equal bar, so when I draw my line, I to make sure that I'm drawing a dotted line. And now this time I want to shade the y values that are less than the line. These y values are below the line, therefore these y values are less than the line. So this is the side of the line that I want to shade. Let's move on to the very last one. Here my y-intercept is negative 2, and then here's my slope, so I'm going to be going down 3 and over to the right 4. So 1, 2, 3, and over 1, 2, 3, 4. And this does have an equal bar on it, so I will be drawing a solid line. Now these y values need to be less than the line. And on this graph, these are the y values that are below or less than the line, which means I should be shading this side of the line. Okay.